Singapore took a major step towards becoming self-sufficient in its water supply today. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong himself opened the Tuas Spring Desalination Plant. It's Asia's largest seawater reverse osmosis plant and Singapore's second such plant. The new plant triples Singapore's supply of desalinated water, adding 70 million gallons of it to the tap every day. Mr Lee says that what was once a strategic weakness for Singapore is now a source of thought leadership and competitive advantage. He listed several factors, including political leadership, that enables Singapore to move towards self-sufficiency in water supply. And he added that a major political decision was made to price water properly. It was a difficult decision because very few countries have done it and it affects every household. But it is the way to make people take water seriously, take conservation seriously, to minimise wastage and abuse. But it is not the only thing we do, because at the same time as we price our water properly, we also have you save to defray low-income households' utility bills so that nobody is unable to afford the water which they need. Well, the new desalination plant offers greater capacity at a lower cost by tapping on new technologies. Here's a look. Singapore's newest desalination plant has been two years in the making. Water solutions firm High Flux won the tender to build the Tuas Spring plant in 2011. And it is using some of its latest technologies to make the plant more efficient at producing potable water. Tuas Spring boasts one of the world's largest installations of membranes, which are more effective at removing dissolved salts from seawater. When seawater is passed through the membranes, virtually all bacteria is blocked out and impurities as small as 0.01 microns can also be filtered away. The filtered water is of high quality, and this helps boost the performance and lifespan of membranes used in the next step of desalination. The key uh, advantages is that uh, we are able to make it more efficient, make the whole plants more efficiently uh, operated. And, as, and, and at the same time, um, we using ultrafiltration membrane as a pretreatment will allow us to uh, bring down the cost of the uh, water produced. To make it even more efficient, a power plant has been integrated into the design of the plant to provide electricity. These measures have resulted in significant cost savings. The first year price for the desalinated water to be delivered to PUB is 45 cents per cubic meter. That's about 40% cheaper than that of Singapore's first desalination plant, Sing Spring, which was also built by Highflux. Desalination is an important supply of water for Singapore, as the country has little land to collect and store rainwater. Desalination uh, is an important and integral part of our four national taps. It will actually enhance our water security and actually enable us to achieve greater resilience against weather uncertainties, especially prolonged drought situations. The government intends to ramp up production capacity by 2060 so that desalinated water can meet up to 25% of total water demand.